Hi, welcome to Maylove. Today we address the question, what are milia? And what are the treatment options available? Milia look like small white bumps on the skin. They're basically keratin trapped under the skin. They are harmless, so there isn't a pressing medical need to treat them. And often they go away naturally, but if not, they can be extracted by a dermatologist or an ophthalmologist if it is around the eyes or treated with topical retinoids and hydroxy acids. Milia can be confused with whiteheads, which are part of the early stages of acne. However, whiteheads are full of sebum, often mixed with bacteria that festers into acne pustules, whereas milia are full of keratin and are hard little bumps. Both conditions can be alleviated by exfoliation with hydroxy acids or gentle exfoliating scrubs and a retinoid treatment. If you're new here, my name is Jackie and I'm the CEO and Chief Product Obsessor here at Maylove. Just stating the obvious, no content on the site should ever be used as a substitute for direct medical advice from your doctor or other qualified clinician. So what are milia? Milia, also commonly called milk spots, are small, bumpy white cysts that form on your skin. What are cysts? Think of cysts like sacs full of just stuff under the skin's surface. Here is a close-up of a milium cyst. Milium is just a, the singular version of milia. In the case of milia, these are sacs full of keratin, which is a structural protein that forms your hair, nails, and the tough outer layer of your skin. Basically, your body naturally sheds the outermost layer of the skin on a regular basis so that new growth can take place. However, when the old layer doesn't shed properly, then new skin can grow on top of them, trapping spots of old skin underneath. Milia can also be caused when skin heals from damage, but does not do so in a 100% correct way. It's called traumatic milia or secondary milia, and it can occur after damage to your skin, such as burns or bad blisters or even bad sunburn. Milia can be confused with whiteheads or pimples, which result from clogged pores. These clogged pores are full of dead skin, sebum, which is an oily substance made by sebaceous glands, and bacteria. Milia, on the other hand, is full of keratin. Milia are very common in infants where they disappear on their own after a few weeks. In adults, milia often occurs on the eyelids and on the skin around your eyes, as well as your forehead. Milia can sometimes clear up on its own or clear after being treated topically or can be excised by a dermatologist in a professional setting. To excise milia, the skin needs to be punctured first with a knife or needle since milia are entirely enclosed by skin before the hard keratin is squeezed out with an extractor. Since milia are often close to the surface of the skin, chemical peels may also be used to remove them. If you are prone to milia, you can use topicals to help prevent their formation, and this includes regular exfoliation of your skin with chemical exfoliants like hydroxy acids such as glycolic acid or lactic acid, or by mechanical exfoliation with a gentle exfoliating scrub. An exfoliating scrub has worked well for me personally in my experiences dealing with occasional milia. Once milia have actually formed, retinoids are often prescribed since this helps your skin turn over the outer layer. You can try serums or creams that contain retinoids, such as retinol, retinaldehyde, or tretinoin, which is only available by prescription, which are also recommended for acne and whiteheads. We here at Maylove like retinaldehyde because it's very effective while not being highly irritating. I'll put a link below of our retinaldehyde versus retinol video. Now, in terms of what not to do with milia, don't pick at the bumps or squeeze them. You can cause skin injury or infection that leads to scarring or hyperpigmentation. Again, milia have no openings on the skin's surface, so you cannot pop milia like you do with whiteheads or blackheads. Rather, if you choose to remove milia, visit a dermatologist to properly get them removed. That's it for today's video. Click on the link below for the write-up. And if you enjoy this type of content, please support us by liking the video and subscribing to our Maylove channel. Thanks and see you next time.